Welcome back to Corsair Trainers. A big thanks to our loyal crew members and Patreon members who make this channel possible. We're always striving to bring you content that enlightens, empowers, and engages. Today, we're diving deep into a critical issue that impacts us all, societal vulnerabilities. We're living in an increasingly interconnected world where the ripple effects of one event can impact many. From natural disasters to economic downturns, the challenges are real, but so too are the solutions. That's why today we're going to focus on Building Resilience, a guide to addressing societal vulnerabilities. We'll explore how each of us, in our own small ways, can make a big difference. How can we fortify ourselves and our loved ones against the uncertainties of life? How can we build a resilient community that stands together in the face of adversity? And how can we contribute to a more stable, secure society? Let's navigate through this journey of resilience building, personal preparedness, and societal strengthening. Remember, we're all in this together, and together, we can make a difference. Addressing societal vulnerabilities on a personal level, focused on immediate family, involves preparedness, resilience building, and fostering a sense of security. Here are some ways individuals can address these issues. Emergency preparedness. Create an emergency preparedness plan for your family, including strategies for different types of emergencies such as natural disasters, power outages, or civil unrest. This plan should include evacuation routes, emergency contacts, a communication plan, and a stocked emergency kit with essentials like food, water, medications, and first aid supplies. Self-sufficiency skills. Learn basic survival skills such as first aid, food preservation, gardening, and basic home repairs. Developing these skills can increase your family's resilience in times of crisis and reduce dependence on external resources. Financial preparedness. Build an emergency fund to cover unexpected expenses and financial setbacks. Reduce debt and live within your means to increase financial stability. Diversify investments and consider assets that may retain value in times of economic uncertainty. Health and wellness. Prioritize physical and mental health within your family. Encourage regular exercise, balanced nutrition and stress management techniques. Stay up to date with vaccinations and preventive health care measures. Community engagement. Build connections with neighbors and community members to foster a sense of solidarity and mutual support. Participate in community emergency response initiatives, such as neighborhood watch programs or community emergency response teams, CERT. Environmental stewardship. Practice eco-friendly habits, such as reducing waste, conserving energy and water, and supporting sustainable practices. Educate your family about the importance of environmental conservation and the impact of individual actions on the planet digital security. Safeguard your family's digital privacy and security by using strong passwords, updating software regularly, and being cautious about sharing personal information online. Teach children about online safety and responsible use of technology. Continuous learning. Stay informed about current events, emerging threats, and new technologies. Engage in ongoing learning and skill development to adapt to changing circumstances and acquire new capabilities that can benefit your family's well-being and resilience. By taking proactive steps to address these issues on a personal level, individuals can enhance their family's preparedness, resilience, and sense of security in the face of societal vulnerabilities. Let's take a deeper look at a few of these points. Here's an expanded explanation of point number one. Emergency Preparedness Plan Develop a comprehensive emergency preparedness plan tailored to your family's needs and circumstances. Consider the types of emergencies most likely to occur in your area, such as natural disasters, for example, hurricanes, earthquakes, floods, technological accidents, for example, chemical spills, industrial accidents, or societal disruptions, for example, power outages, civil unrest. Identify potential risks and hazards specific to your location and surroundings. Assess vulnerabilities in your home and neighborhood such as proximity to flood zones, wildfire-prone areas, or industrial sites. Establish clear communication channels and emergency contacts within your family. Designate an out-of-area emergency contact person whom family members can reach in case local communication networks are disrupted. Create a family emergency communication plan outlining how to stay in touch and reunite if separated during an emergency. Discuss where to meet and how to reach safe locations both within and outside your immediate area. Develop evacuation routes and emergency transportation plans. 
Identify primary and alternate evacuation routes from your home, workplace, or school to designated safe locations, such as emergency shelters or the homes of friends or relatives. Assemble an emergency kit with essential supplies to sustain your family for at least 72 hours. Include items such as non-perishable food, water medications, first aid supplies, flashlight, batteries, multi-tool, blankets, personal hygiene items, and important documents. For example, identification, insurance policies, medical records. Regularly review and update your emergency preparedness plan to reflect changes in family dynamics, household needs, and community resources. By developing a comprehensive emergency preparedness plan and actively involving your family in preparedness activities, you can enhance their resilience and readiness to cope with a wide range of emergencies and crises. Point number three emphasizes the importance of financial preparedness for your family's well-being and stability. Here's a more detailed explanation. Financial preparedness. Emergency fund. Establish an emergency fund to cover unexpected expenses and financial setbacks. Aim to save enough money to cover three to six months worth of essential living expenses, including housing, utilities, food, transportation, and insurance premiums. Set up a dedicated savings account for your emergency fund and contribute to it regularly. Budgeting and expense tracking. Create a household budget to track your income and expenses effectively. Identify areas where you can reduce discretionary spending and prioritize essential expenses. Use budgeting tools, apps, or spreadsheets to monitor your financial progress and identify opportunities for savings. Debt Management Develop a strategy for managing and reducing debt such as credit card debt, student loans, or mortgages. Prioritize high-interest debt and consider consolidating or refinancing loans to lower interest rates and monthly payments. Explore debt repayment strategies such as the debt snowball or debt avalanche method to accelerate debt payoff. Insurance coverage. Review your insurance coverage to ensure adequate protection against unforeseen risks and liabilities. Maintain insurance policies for health, life, disability, auto, home, and liability coverage. Compare insurance quotes and consider adjusting deductibles or coverage limits to optimize cost and coverage based on your family's needs. Income diversification. Explore opportunities to diversify your sources of income and reduce dependence on a single source of revenue. Consider alternative income streams such as freelancing, consulting, rental income, dividends, or passive investments. Invest in skill development and education to enhance earning potential and career opportunities. Long-term savings and investments. Plan for long-term financial goals such as retirement, education, home ownership, or major purchases. Contribute regularly to retirement accounts such as 401, KS, IRAs, or pension plans to build a secure financial future. Invest in diversified investment portfolios aligned with your risk tolerance, time horizon, and financial objectives. Estate planning. Develop an estate plan to protect your assets, minimize taxes, and ensure the orderly transfer of wealth to future generations. Create essential estate planning documents such as wills, trusts, powers of attorney, and advance directives. Review and update your estate plan regularly to reflect changes in family circumstances, assets, or legal requirements. By prioritizing financial preparedness and implementing sound financial strategies, you can strengthen your family's financial resilience, reduce financial stress, and achieve greater financial security and peace of mind. Building a solid financial foundation allows your family to weather economic uncertainties, pursue opportunities for growth and prosperity, and achieve your long-term financial goals. And that brings us to the end of today's guide on building resilience and addressing societal vulnerabilities. We've walked through the importance of having an emergency preparedness plan and financial preparedness. Remember, these are not just theoretical ideas. They are practical steps that can be integrated into our daily lives to enhance our resilience and readiness to cope with a wide range of emergencies and crises. It's time to take action now. Start developing your comprehensive emergency preparedness plan and begin to prioritize your financial preparedness. It's never too early or too late to start. The key is to start now. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Also, share this video with your friends and family. It's through sharing valuable information like this that we can collectively enhance societal resilience. Thanks for watching. Remember, together we can make a difference. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video and stay safe.